my lovely people welcome here again to my channel Eleanor's Chronicles and of course my name is Eleanor you know I haven't been um, online for quite some time now and today I decided no get back into momentum and switch it up a bit move away from voice notes and actually be on the video and um, for this video I would like to state my intentions. What is it that I'm looking to get out of this channel? What are my intentions on this platform called YouTube? Um, first, number one, my my aim is honestly monetization. That's the biggest monetization i'm chasing that uh 1000 subscribers views and those 4000 hours watch time so that i can monetize and get a bit of income into my household you know um because we all know the economic climate you know with no jobs out there and everything having a house bills and all of those things so I'm not going to be out there and act like I am all that and all big and everything. Hence, I came out no makeup, no nothing with my grace and everything. I love my grace, by the way. I love my grace. If I if I if I dye my hair, I'll probably dye it silver. You know, cause I love it all my life. I want to do it. To get it so early in my life, oh, I feel like. God loves me. Okay, let's go on. And um, on this channel, we will be discussing uh, celebrity news, political news. Um, but then we will be discussing them and checking them from the aspect of what is it that, whatever it is that we will be discussing, what is it that it's doing for our lives? Because, you know, we are out there facing real issues, you know. We are facing poverty. Kids are being raped. Um, there's domestic violence, you know. Um, people are losing their homes because expenses are going so high, you know. We have ESCOM out here trying to bill us for 18.6% uh, increment on electricity that they're not even providing, you know. We are facing real issues so within the nightmares that we are facing in our in all our separate corners what are issues such as what's that doing for us so when we are tackling the beef between uh and um inomorolo we'll be taking it from that perspective for what are they teaching our young ladies? Hmm? What are they teaching our young ladies? That your body is not good enough. Go slice up your bum. Make it extra. Whereas God gave you a beautiful body. God made you a beautiful woman. You were beautiful anyway. Yes, it's your right. But then when your rights becomes bad influence on the upcoming generation and you call it your rights. What is that? And then you listen to people like uh, Abonota saying women are this and that. And you start to ask, what women are you talking about? Because these people, they are not talking about us. They are talking about them in that corner, the poison corner that's in them. Calling themselves influencers. If you're saying you're an influencer, if we are going to denote what is influence? Who exactly are you denoting? Who exactly are you influencing? Because now you're out here 
cyberbullying, doing all sorts of nasty, selling of girls to Nigerians. And then you're going to say, no, it's my life, it's my choice, I live it like I'm living it, I'm an influencer. How did that come to be in one sentence? How did that come to be in one sentence? We're going to discuss such issues, you know? Issues like Abu Michali. You know, when or as we're on Michali, I'm going to tell you a funny story. It's not very funny because I did not feel funny. I felt very betrayed when I when I was going through that. Ah, my bags, the bags under my eyes. Mm, somebody buy me makeup. Just for the bags. No, I'm happy with this face. Actually, most of the time when you see me in these videos, you will see me bad. You will see the real me. I will show you my house. It's a normal house. I'm a normal lady. I am most of you who sit in your corner and you're frustrated and your frustration is making you turn into poison. You go out, you troll people. You don't have to. You're better than that. Own your pain. You know it's there. You don't have to inflict it on somebody else, eh? Back to what I was telling you. You know, sometimes when you're looking at up at someone and you're chasing this person because this person needed, there was this guy. Nabuklega. I don't know who Bootlega, what is it in English? Somebody write down in the comment section. Kim Bootlega. I'm a Pretoria girl, by the way. You will hear me... Um, change i think if you've been following um my channel all along i i did say that um i speak many languages in one sentence you know and i have a problem of a heavy tongue i mean this i don't know what happened to my tongue it flows a little bit easier mm, i hope it stays like that I hope it stays like that. I don't know what's going on with my tongue, but whatever is going on, I love it. Back to the story that I was telling you, I'm sweating like a bear. Okay, no, I keep on jumping everywhere. Let's go back to the story. This guy, Nabuklik, I, I absolutely respected this guy. I wanted to be this guy. I studied this guy. I stopped this guy because Hey, you know, unfortunately, more you can't just all walk up to a man and say, Hey, how do you make your money? You know, because you know, the, the money gurus say, No, uh, walk up to a millionaire, ask him, How did you make your money? and then you make it. You don't do that, you'll get shot. My township in Waloi or you don't do that. You don't walk up to a man and ask him his business. You don't do that. Okay. Anyway, this man was like, I gave myself vantage point. I wanted to have perfect vantage point in to see into when Funu was into about this guy because I respected him. He was making it. He's the man, you know, and I'm very independent. I'm, I'm like a girl who wants to make her own one red, you know. Um, so far, that I have had opportunities, but they never start. So I zoomed into this guy. So imagine the one day I get a perfect source, a reliable source. Umganaki, I managed to get that person drunk. Sashala ye match. Siatoloka under the tree. Ushi, sa, and I'm busy sweating, sweating more than I'm sweating right now. You know? And this guy tells me, Utiazi, I remember, I mean, I know Zman Ban, Beg, Sisa, Sisa Kula, you know, around the age so. 
hey, it was still a birthday because um, I might call him a guy, but he's not really a guy. He's actually old enough to be my dad. The guy I'm talking about can is old enough to be my dad, but then he's a millionaire in his own right. Marwa Butlega, that's the part that made me zoom in. You know, because how how are you so bad? Ubutlega. And I zoom in, I look for all the wrong things. I look for the budget, I look for the drugs, I look for Roberta de Dulas and I could find nothing. The guy is blemish free. The guy is believe me, I stopped this guy. So if there was anything, I was going to catch it. I was going to catch it. I become that gogo who stays at the window and there's nothing else she does but, you know, Then this guy tells me, what you know, you know, I remember Rasami. <laughs> and then, eh, you know, and the women say, my God, party, you know, my was a ring, was a ring. Eh, Kamu, you know, and I'm a child. Eh, no, such a little, no, 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 is in you is that money these people they went out to Botswana when when in apartheid they went to exile they went to Botswana and in Botswana they made a connect that connect was for them to smuggle diamonds so they had this shiga shiga of them stealing diamonds, you know, it was a whole lot of mess between uh, Botswana and Kimberley and that's where that money came from. Imagine my disappointment. Imagine my disappointment. Especially because I was in my own corner. This is a two things telling me Telling myself, let Brahmai go to me like so. Ah, Brahmai, you are the case one. But I got you. But I got you. But I got you. Bloody guy went and stole diamonds, and I'm here trying to make man the case one. Hmm? Risking getting in jail, selling alcohol with no license, because I'm looking up to a guy who made man smuggling diamonds. Me, yeah. thinking him. Made his money from the bootleg business. We hmm? as born, you see your life thinking that these celebrities are what they say they are. Check now the lot. You know, we need to unpack this lotto, this lotto scandal. The names that are coming out of the the Tsotsi crew. So they were not only acting the movie Tsotsi, they are actually real Tsotsi. And that shows you life in South Africa. That when you are out there being honest, you you approach these people and you have you honestly need to help your communities which is another reason i am here on youtube because the little that i'm gonna make here i'm hoping to share with others who have experienced what i have experienced you know i want to form a network 
women and men and we hold each other sick and say, it, it will be well. But it will be well. Because finding yourself in a situation and having no one in your corner. Who's over dark? Who's over nyama? Who's over nyama, my guy? So, um, that is it for now. Hope to see you on my other videos. I hope that you will watch those videos as well. For today, I'm hoping to make at least five videos. So, let me see. Let me start this marathon. Let me see how far I get. Um, I hope that you will engage with me. Um, you will excuse the noise. My son is in the dining room. He's driving my shoes. He's saying it's a dragon. But then season 10, there's no money for toys until you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, the notification button. Let's do this thing. See you in the other videos.